Karen Armstrong and welcome back into my kitchen. I want to teach you how to make eggplant parmesan. Don't go anywhere. I know so few people that want to make this vegetable because they're afraid it's going to be mushy or gross or taste bad. It's not and certainly not when we're using all fresh ingredients. Let me explain to you why it's so important to start incorporating eggplant into your diet. Eggplant is loaded with vitamins and photonutrients. These vitamins include vitamin C, vitamin K, and it also has fiber. Do you know that fiber will actually lower your blood sugar? The antioxidants are located in this nice, thick, purple skin. So make sure that when you're eating it, that you're eating your skin too. This also helps to lower your cholesterol. So now, I want to teach you how to make it simply and most deliciously. Some of the other ingredients that you're going to need are the fresh breadcrumbs, which we've already made from scratch. So if you haven't seen that segment yet, go there now. Watch your segment on how to make your breadcrumbs. You're going to need them. And we have two organic eggs that we're going to beat up. We have Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese. Remember, these are great for calcium and they're both low in fat. And I've pureed some tomato sauce. Um, these eggs, by the way, are loaded with omega-3s and they're all organic. And let's not forget our oregano. This is something that we've grown from the garden and all we need to do now is just pluck a little bit off and we will add this to our ingredients. Ooh, it smells so good, so good. Okay, let's get cooking. I've already washed my eggplant. This is a wonderful, meaty vegetable. In fact, if you have family or friends who are vegetarians, this is a fantastic dish to make just for them. They're gonna love you for it. All right, we're going to slice this as if you were slicing a piece of meat. See, it's nice and dense, hearty, and wholesome. Let's pull off the top. There we go. Okay. They're about a quarter of an inch to half an inch thick. You're gonna want this because as it cooks, you're going to want to make sure that it has the density to be able to cut into it. It's a wonderful meat substitute for all of your vegetarian friends. All right, next we're going to scramble our eggs, nice and fluffy, just like this. This is going to be your coating for the eggplant. Okay, quick and simple. Fat eggplant slice. Ooh, take a bath, baby. All right. There we go. Nice coated with our fresh breadcrumbs. Add some of your olive oil to a pan, a frying pan. Again, low heat. Once they start cooking, everybody's gonna want them. Yeah, neat. You can make a meal out of those breadcrumbs alone. Let's do one more. It's an awesome lunch too. It's healthy, it's easy, and it stores fairly well as well. So just don't let it sit in the fridge for three days, but you can make it today, eat it this afternoon, save one for tomorrow. There we go. Okay, let's just let this simmer a little bit until it gets soft. So what we want to do is just turn these over. These are nice and crunchy and crispy on the outside. It's exactly what you want. This is just the cheese that has cooked on there. And that way you get a nice crunchy outside before they even go in the oven. Okay, let's turn that off. We're going to go into our other preparation. Watch how easy this is. Oh, let's just move that off for a second. This is oregano. Oregano is loaded with antioxidants. Always use fresh if you can. 
ends this as well. You know me, I'd much rather have fresh, chunky ingredients than dry any day of the week. Okay, let's put these aside. What I'm gonna do is a little olive oil in a baking dish. That's just so these don't stick. fresh oregano over the top. Okay, spread it out a bit. Let's use some more. Some of the baby leaves. It's so tender you can just tear it with your fingers too. Oh, I'm a little crazy about the spices and the herbs, sorry. You can make it however you wish when you're in your kitchen. All right, next we're going to seal this with a little bit of mozzarella. This is going to keep your Parmesan nice and moist on the top. It's also going to seal in the flavor of the oregano. And we're going to add a bit of your sauce over the top. And then seal your sauce with the Parmesan, which is a nice dry, cheese. Okay. This is going to bake for about 20 to 30 minutes just until the top cheese gets nice and crunchy and bubbly. And it's that easy. All right, give me a minute. We are all ready. Once again, the house smells amazing with all of these fresh herbs and all of the cheese. Look at there. And it was fast, too. I love that. Here we go. It's loaded with nutrients, vitamins, and it's filling and absolutely delicious. Today and every day, I need you to eat well and be well. I'm Karen Armstrong.